This stylus tip that came with the probe is way too large for me to be able to probe my 1.2 millimeter pocket in the watch that I'm working on. So instead I got one of these uh, stylus tips, which is one millimeter, but it wouldn't work. And why is that? I thought that uh, I could simply take this, this stylus tip out of the, uh, the probe and substitute this really tiny one, which is a one millimeter diameter instead of six millimeter diameter. But as you can see in the footage above, when it probed the first four positions, everything worked fine. But when it rotated 180 degrees, probed the front, it was all fine. But then when it probed the back, it would overrun, it would go too far, and it just wouldn't work. This drove me nuts. I contacted my HFO. They contacted me and said, oh, you probably need to make a change to the macro. Um, and then they suggested I contact Renishaw. I called Renishaw. They put me right through to a technician. He said, oh, that's probably because the probe is moving too fast. There's a setting that allows you to, to control how fast it moves for the first touch. And then there's another setting for the sec second touch. So he said, if you cut that in half from 200 to 100, that should take care of it. So let's go ahead and give that a try. And so the first thing I have to do is go to settings. I need to go over to control panel, and then it's on the second page, setting 23, which is program edit lock. I wanna turn that off so I can edit the program. And then I need to edit a program. I, Renishaw gave me the program number, which is 9724. So I'll go ahead to edit, press F1, select program from list. And then what I want is 9724, which is right there. Press right enter. Here's the program. It's not that long. You can see it's just two pages long. And they said to look for N400. And a few lines down from that is this line that says number 169 equals 200 fast feed inch. And this is basically the first uh, feed rate before it does the first touch. Um, so it's the faster one when it uh, does the second touch, it's going to go slower. So I want to change that number right there. And so I'll go down to it and then change it to 100, which is what they suggested and then press Alter. So now you can see that that has that value in there. So I'll go back to the calibration and see how it works. So the way I get there is uh, MDI and then program conversion. I want to use VQ VQC, I prefer their calibration. And then I want to use the diameter calibration. This happens to be one inch to within the 10 thousandths of an inch, so I'll press that. And then I'm going to have it output to MDI, right enter, and then press MDI, and we're ready to press cycle start. And success. So this was a pretty short video, but I'm hoping that I save someone else who runs into this, the effort of trying to figure out what's going on, getting frustrated, calling their HFO, and then having to call Renishaw, etc. As you saw here, it's a fairly simple change. Now, using a slower speed for the one millimeter diameter tip is probably a good thing in all cases, so I'm gonna keep it that way. If I switch back to the six millimeter diameter tip, I might even keep it at that slower speed because I really don't need it to be fast. I'm not doing production on this machine. I'm doing prototypes or eventually for the watch, small runs. Please help me grow the channel. Give me a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you ran into this type of problem or other problems like this. 
and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, you can click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I have a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.